This program is a presentation of CJNT Montreal. One city, many cultures. Hey, I'm Rochelle Siegel, and I'm inviting you to a night of wit and wonder. On June 14th, Comedy for Everyone with a Jewish Twist, featuring Just for Laughs, Joey Elias. And everybody's like, are you going to do a kosher show? What does that mean? Israeli sensation, Yisrael Campbell. I think we can all agree I wouldn't look good in heels. And mentalist Mark Salem's Mind Games. It's all for charity. Brought to you by Habud NDG and Push Play TV. For tickets, visit JewishComedyFest.com. You know you want to be there. Hello everyone, we are back. That was the very witty Rochelle Siegel hosting the Jewish Comedy Festival that took place June 14th. And uh, that looks like a lot of fun. That must have been great. Yes, it absolutely was. It was a phenomenal <laughs> show. And I mean, I, you know, from the comedians to the energy of the crowd, what can I say? It was, uh, it was an event not to be missed. And actually it can't be missed because you can go once a year. It's the annual fest. That's right. So it's been on for two years. And this is the first year you, you hosted it. That's absolutely correct, exactly. And I look to be back the following year. Um, I mean, uh, I've been, I was actually nominated to host this event. I do a nominated lot of different. How? Uh, how, well, actually, very good question. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually involved, well, first of all, it's a fundraiser for Chabad and right, right. So I am involved in that circle, in that community. I go to their inspirational classes, and I, I really take part in, in, in their affairs. And because I, you know, I do a lot of emceeing, TV hosting across the city, they're like, Rochelle, we want you to be there. We want you to do it. And I said, you know what? Absolutely. I love to give back. I love to laugh. I'm there. So the, the comedy uh, festival is to, uh, all the proceeds go to Chabad NDG and uh Yes, and, and, Loyola, and it, it's in association with Loyola. Yes, well, actually, yeah, it's all Chabad and DG, and what that really does, it encompasses Loyola. So, really, they're open to everyone in the surrounding area, and it just so happens that that's the closest Chabad to the Loyola campus, Concordia. So, okay. people finish school, you know, people like that direction. They want some spiritual uplifting. They don't know what they're doing, and there's a lot of practical, inspirational talks, courses, etc., that you can really find there, and it's a really nice, fun, new age community to be involved with. Hmm. It's Chabad's own. It, 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 Chabad NG has only been around for a year, is that correct? Or like a little bit more than a year? Yes, yes exactly. It's relatively new yes. because they felt there was a need in, in that area. Two Jews, so, a Chabad house. Two Jews, that's, that's the motto. That's right. right. More than two Jews in, in NDG. But is it, so if you've been involved with them from the, from in from the, the past the very, year? Yes, absolutely. And uh, let's just say the place is outgrowing, so who knows? We mm. might have to, they might have to get a new place fairly shortly. So I, the, oh. The Jewish festival, you're talking about um, having like a Jewish twist and all that, but obviously open to all. Yes, yes, exactly. Because this is really not a very small little mingling cocktail. It's not a small little comedy event. This is, we're talking big scale. We're talking... Well, they've oh, got oh, big names who, who will come in. That's right. yeah, yeah, exactly. We just had Just for Laughs, Joey Elias. Yeah. We just had uh, Yisrael Campbell yeah, from, from Israel. Israel. Exactly. And mentalist Mark Salem, who's had shows on Broadway, has been on CNN, 60 These Minutes. Big names. He's, yeah, exactly. So we're, we're really, we want to do something really big to attract everybody, to attract the Jewish community. And as well, it's comedy with a Jewish tryst for everyone. So basically, we've had people who weren't Jewish that came, and they absolutely loved it because it's, it's, it's everyone can it's of that type of humor. That's right. What, exactly. um, what uh, I'm curious as to, you know, it, you've, you guys have only been around for a year. How did, how were you able to attract such big names? Uh, well, uh, you know what? People believe in a good cause, and you know, once one person gets on the board, other people want to get on board. And considering it's our second year, we've even had media sponsors who are really, you know, gung ho about the idea, and they're like, "Oh, let me." Come, come in and cover it. Can wow. I come and do a, a, an on-air spot, you know, from, from your show? So, you know, it's a good program. It's very professional. And people are really, really taken to it. Huh. So uh, from your comedians, you have three men. And I was wondering why there weren't any females. She's a female. Uh, that's a... That, you guys that's are, true. That's true. Just but saying, you, know, you get a little confused. You are female. Just, it's, 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 if you guys this up, I'm going to give you guys a bit in the next show. We want our best behavior now. You should see us when we let ourselves go. I, yeah, well, I wanted to know that there. I mean, Jewish female comedy is the best. You know, and so it's the best shtick. It's the best shtick. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about that shtick. Well, you know what? Uh, to be honest, I, uh, it just so happens it fell that way. Okay. You know, we had these people. They were phenomenal. People ended up on the committee. People voted, should we have this person or that person? And that's how it just fell. But hey, I was there, represented the female population. Right, so, <laughs> so it had nothing to do, because at one point I thought it may have something to do with uh, religious. or No, oh. it had nothing to do no. with that. It was just a matter of uh, comedic selection. Exactly. And next year... 
Perhaps. Yes. Next year, perhaps, we're going to do dot, 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 That's because right. we're not sure. I'll leave you in suspense. But all I have to say is that we keep on growing and elevating. So what we have this year, we're going to top. Okay. So let me ask you something. Is it is it a normal thing? I mean, I've, I've seen, uh, you know, we've had quite a few Chabad rabbis on, on the show. Is it a normal thing for them to decide to do this kind of big Fundraising. scale fundraiser? No, because I've it, never seen it before. That's exactly it. It's not. And it almost almost shows exactly what type of place the new Chabad NDG in Monklin mm. is. Off the top, something crazy, something a little bit different, and something to really attract everybody, you know? Mm. And what better than comedy, you know? I, laughter, yeah. getting everyone involved, anyone from literally 15 to 70 all enjoyed it. So. And I think the fact that it's at Loyola is not, um, there's a point to that. You know, I think that breaking boundaries, letting people mingle. Is it on the campus? Uh, it just so happens this year's show took place at the Oscar Peterson Concert right. Hall, so okay. it was on the campus, but we're gonna, we keep on changing venues, and who knows, we may even be part of the Just for Laughs in future, that we maybe take exciting. it on tour. Yeah. Uh, just some scoop. Uh, some stew. <laughs> well, um, maybe I'll be back next year. I'll let you know. <laughs> but now, and now, what about the Habad House itself? It's not on the campus. The Habad House is just in, in NDG. NDG. Yes, right? it is NDG on Monkland. Right. It okay. is not on the campus, but it does cater to everyone on on the campus. So they can, they're a free range, can come whenever they feel like. And so when you say to cater to, uh, you're talking about Jews and non-Jews? No. no, no, no. I'm talking the about Jewish people. The, the Jewish, right. yes. Okay, from the, from the Concordia. Loyola campus. Exactly. Huh. Concordia campus or anyone in the Monkland surrounding areas or, you know, we don't show any Jewish population. Right, of course, mm -hmm. but it's just that the, the fact that it's strategically there because there was nothing in that area. Is exactly. That, right? Yes, you're right. Huh. Huh. Pretty cool. I think it's a fabulous idea. And and kudos to Chabad for taking this I kind of innovative you know what, I, young I, I met the rabbi a little while ago. He came in. Um, rabbi Yisrael Bernat. Yes. That's fun. Yes, He's uh, he, but he, but it's it just, I, it, you just never think, it, it just, it's, you know, you have the stereotype that you think that they're, they're working hard and they're serious and they have things to do and teach people religion, oh, yeah. and you never think they're going to go for will a break. break. <laughs> all the stereotypes you've ever had but about yeah, Jews. For, the, for a comedy show, it's fabulous. Absolutely. Exactly. You're absolutely right. And you know, you don't know who you're going to meet. There's all different faces from all different places, and it's all good energy. So it's, it's the new place to go. That's it's right. the new place <laughs> to hang out. That's right. As well as the comedy fest and coming out. the comedy out. fest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Great. you very much, so Rochelle. Much. That was uh, Rochelle Siegel, and much success. Thank we'll you. We'll be right much. back.